make a thread. Record Keeper logo in the corner. Why wasn't that there? Oh, yeah. Uh, I, had, I wasn't scrolled up. There you go. Oops. My bad. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Banner 4. Let's, uh, let's forget the major disservice that was done to the community uh, and look at the rest of the stuff on here. Cypher Arcane, or not Arcane, Awakening. Oh. If that was the only change, then I can go here. Is actually kind of neat. Because it's Awakening Dark, or Awaken Dark and Fire, but unlike other dual element characters like Noctis and, uh, and Orlando, he actually gets an interesting trait with his Awakening, which is Switch Draw Mode, which grants End Dark after using a Dark ability, or End Fire after using a Fire ability. So he, he actually dual and elements with his Awakening uh, after you sacrifice the first attack. So it's actually kind of cool. Um, <laughs> I didn't actually realize that. Thank you for bringing up CSDX. Uh, which she says, important note to uh, switch draw mode only lasts one's turn. So if you fail to use an attack, you lose the end element opportunity. It's not that difficult to f fulfill the requirement, but it is important to know. Um, uh, other than otherwise, it's just a basic awakening. He is definitely a better dark character than he is fire. I mean, yeah, I mean, glint, dark based. It doesn't have any any LMRs on this banner. Uh, all of his LMRs are dark based. So I wouldn't go into this banner thinking that I've got a premier fire character on my hands. It's going to be good for six star because he does get in fire. Uh, because he doesn't really have great tools for fire. And fire is the physical fire specifically is the most expansive element in type in, in the entire game. So... It, it doesn't bode well for his his ability to be a, a physical fire character, since he has to sacrifice his first attack generating. He does have Samurai Six. That's how he uses fire attacks. Um, he has to spend the first attack generating and fire plus. He doesn't have a whole lot of fire boosts that everyone else has. Uh, as a dark character, he does run into the difficulty where he doesn't start out with a dark. Uh, unless you have his LMR, in, in which case, awesome. Um, and he has his Generation 2 Dark Chain Holder, so that, that automatically gives him a lot more value. It's still good for the dark property. I just, uh, I don't, I want to make sure that, you know, you don't go nuts thinking it's a super dual element where it's, it's more like one and a half. Will it cancel the end dark one turn after the no. Like, if, you, if you're saying if you don't use a, a dark attack, it won't cancel it. Uh, it just won't generate a new stack. 
So, uh, because he has, I don't think he has a way to end dark stack. What would, what would happen? Ideally, you running him as a dark character would be you would start with end dark, with, from his LMR, and uh, you cast his awakening. Then on the first turn, you cast you know Demon Cross or whatever. Uh, and what switch draw mode would do would be it would generate a new end dark status. So it, it basically refresh the duration. Since he doesn't have stacking, it wouldn't stack, but it would refresh the duration. All right. Um, uh, Titus Awake. I don't really have to talk about this one much. <laughs> Not only is it old, but it's Titus, and a a anything water in his hand is in his hands is uh, disgusting because Sapphire Blitz is a gross ability. That is a massive multiplier. Bart's Awakening is just really good. Multi-element. He has four different ways to generate an element, none of which are on this banner, by the way, in case you hadn't noticed. Um, uh, but it's still a good Awakening. It's not going to be... Uh, uh, eventually, it's not going to be your primary DPS. Because... He either requires more soul break points to work because he needs to generate an element a different way. Um, so more specialized characters are going to be better. But the fact that this one character can take care of you know four or more elements is is pretty nice. Uh, is his end fire not lensable? No, is end wind BSB? I don't think is. If it is, then that's gonna turn my world upside down. Oh yeah, Bart's will beat the shit out of five stars. But the same goes for just about any Awakening. Uh, you know, important question for me. <laughs> uh, does Bart's... Ugh. So this is his Earth BSB and this is Water BSB. Does Bart's get access to his other BSBs with the second wave of Animal Lenses? Yes, he does. Well, at least there's that. I can go check right now. Because I got this handy webpage that I'm going to link right now. And, yeah. I have his BSB4, BSB5 marked down as coming with the second wave. Which is very nice. Where was I? Oh, Barts. Uh, Gabrant the Chain. Uh, if you don't have Cypher's Chain, this is actually pretty good. I personally like Gabrant a lot more than I like Cypher. Uh, it, it's because of Legend Dive. Not yet, Ricky. I was I was waiting until the festival because I might have pulled on this banner. If I pulled on the banner and got Bart's USB 3, I would have much rather used that. But now that Bart's USB 3 is not on the banner, uh, I will probably buy his Unique and then try that out instead. Which I, I think is going to make a big difference. Yeah, I do have Cypher's uh, LMRs where I don't have any LMRs for Gabranth. And that's why I'm really interested, really interested in getting his, his chain off the chain banner. But I digress. Uh, Gabranth 
in a vacuum is a better chain holder because his Ledger Materia 2 is a stacking, a build up attack Ledger Materia, which makes Gabranth hit for a truckload. Uh, where Cypher's LM, uh, LM2 is just garbage. I think it gives him re raise and last stand. Thank goodness. Yuna Arcane, honestly, uh, for the future, good. Yuna, I don't care that much for USB 4. It's kind of cool. Like, what it does, it, High Quick Cast 2 and Last Stand of Party, that's already pretty neat. Um, but I, I really actually like what Yuna turns into when she gets her Awakening. Sentinel and Last Stand. But it's better than re-raise, at least. Yuna does have a future. It is finally, finally, after a long period of mediocrity, uh, pretty good. And this is the start of it. This is the kickstart. I do actually like this, this USB for being a medica, a DPS medica that also has stacking on it. So this is how she gets, you know, holy stacking. High quick cast two and last stand of party. It, it really, it does a lot of cool stuff. Uh, Sid Rain's Arcane. It's hard to say no to Sid Rain's things. Yeah, and, and uh, Darkness Mages are really good. Dar physical Darkness and Physical or Magical Darkness is, is kind of like fire in a way. Not as quite as expansive as Physical and Magical Fire, but both sides are very good. Um, you know, Physical does have Bizarro Sephiroth, but that doesn't mean Magical Darkness is bad. I would say Magical Darkness is a hell of a lot better than Magical Wind. Yeah, Reigns is kind of out here, huh? Kind of like Rem. So parts of USB 3 is not on this banner. Uh, you can forget about this awesome soul break that you are seeing right now. And, and just uh, just put the chicken knife there instead. The animal lensable, been on 5 million banners, Bart's USB one that many, many people have. And I, I guess... You know, if you're the one or two people on this entire planet that don't have Bart's USB 1, I'm very happy for you. <laughs> but damn you. Damn you. Cypher's Glint is actually pretty cool. Uh, it's a way, if you use him as a chain holder, for him to get in. To A ways to use the, the your leftover soul break points on him. Because Imperial Dark 2, 10% uh, is, is a nice thing to have coming from your chain holder. That's not the only chicken knife I've got, though. The, the point about the chicken knife is it's just been everywhere. It's, you, you, it's hard to avoid. Uh, Titus is LMR2. This is just, uh, <laughs> this plus 10 attack. I think this is the first thing that has been in this festival so far that I've just, all right, that's plus 10 attack. Right, that is a good point, Ryan. I, I, 
I may not have missed Bart's USB 1, but I did miss Uni US Super Soul Break 2. Well, I, I, I have to know. I made the claim. I've got to see it. Yeah. Yeah. All, all, all of this is is useful for something. Titus' LMR2 is plus on attack. Uh, Bart's LMR2 is... I used to think it was totally useless. <laughs> but now seeing Bart's versus Odin, and the fact that he has trouble um, breaking cap against rage mode sometimes, makes me think this might actually be not a terrible idea if it's the difference between him being able to break rage mode and not. So rather than, you know, a chance to dual cast, instead he gets higher damage hits might be useful. Uh, yes, Banner 4 is the worst banner in the fast by a considerable amount. It's not awful. The three awakenings are good. Uh, but Cypher has issues, even though it, it appears good, and it is, it isn't bad. Um, Titus is friggin' amazing. And Bart's is good too. But the rest of the festival is better. Uh, Gabranth LMR, Chain, same thing with Fujian on the first banner. That's, uh, that's the LMR you want to see. Yuna LMR3, Star Ball with Unholy, that's good for Yuna. Because her USB4 is a is basically a stacking glint with with Akira Medica. And High Quick Cast Suda Party and Last Stand Party. By the way, I really like Yuna's USB4. I really think it's neat. I know I've said it enough. I know and um, I'm probably gonna say it again by the time the, the stream ends. And 25% chance to dual cast on Yuna. These are good LMRs. But the banner has issues, and even though there's some really good stuff going on here, uh, I think the other four banners are better. And I have a lot of Mithril. And I still think that I can't pull on this. Uh, because I'm 